Hey YouTube, Eagle Run 2 3 here. I thought I'd show you today uh, just some of the things I'm working on. Um, we were just getting bombarded every single day. The, uh, boy, this infrastructure deal that just came out is, I mean, man, I, I hope the stuff that they're doing in this can be, can be reversed down the road because um, pretty crazy situation that the uh, infrastructure bill has only got a certain percentage of it that goes to actual infrastructure. Um, I think most of us would probably be on board if it was a real infrastructure bill. Um, but man, so um, I'm preparing like normal every single week and a couple things I'm working on this week that I want to uh, bring you up on. Um, one, so I can hold myself accountable and two, so that um, I can just kind of show you some of the stuff that I'm doing. Uh, maybe you're doing some of the same things. So um, you'll remember the Franken build. This is a parts bin special. Um, it does have a nice barrel and bolt, but we got a uh, an optic for it, and I've I've never put it on. This this rifle needs to be um, test it needs to be tested uh, test fired, and I uh, need to make sure it's fully functional, and we need to uh, sight in the optic. So we're going to be doing that this week, and then um, I also wanted to make sure you guys knew I, I roast coffee. I, I have a coffee business, Texas Parks Outlet Coffee, and I roast coffee, and I'd love for you to try some. Uh, if you want to just hit the website, texasparksoutlet.com, um, I would love to send you some of my some of my coffee. This is, these are roasts that I came up with, and we have a, uh, a French roast and a gold roast, um, Costa Rican blend, all, just really premium coffee, and uh, it's a great thing to have. Uh, get some, stock up on it. And then the other thing here is we were talking the other day about um, food prices, and you know the inflation numbers just came out, and they're 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 up again. But I, I'm, it makes me wonder, <laughs> are we getting the, the numbers cooked a little bit here? Because um, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I can't, I, I don't have time to dive into that too much. I'm, I guess I just have to take the numbers at face value. But uh, sure, it sure seems like uh, there's some, there's some uh, inflection and deception and uh, <laughs> postponement on some of this stuff. So... Anyway, I'm not going to be caught off guard. I hope you're not going to be caught off guard either. So let me tell you what we've been doing um, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, it is now cooler in Texas, and so we've kind of got some of our cooler weather recipes coming out. But we like to cook soups, um, things like that. There's a recipe that my family loves uh, that's a taco soup recipe. You can make it in a crock pot or an instant pot. And when, when that recipe comes up on our list and we do our grocery shopping, I'm just, I'm just buying double. These are some of the things that are in that recipe. And this is a really easy way to either start your, your, your preparations or um, add to. I'm using them to add to because I, I feel like I have a pretty good supply. It's not always, it's not perfect. What I'm doing is when we, um, when we put down the recipe, I just double up. So um, if the recipe calls for two cans, I uh, get four. Or if it calls for one, I get two. Um, so some of those soups just take, take canned beans and stuff and that's fine. Um, we also are going to, uh, I ordered in um, a couple of different pots. I wanna make um, a large batch of beans and kind of just practice that. I found a buddy who has a recipe for like a 10 pound um, bean recipe. And I think that'd be kind of cool to freeze and just kind of have always have beans available as like a side. Um, sometimes nutritionally, my family kind of skips out on the sides a little bit and we end up you know, doing a, you know, a hamburger on the grill, but we don't really always have great sides. So um, having something in the freezer, I think would be a good idea. Um, I'm also gonna be firing up the smoker and putting away um, some smoke things. When you're smoking, usually it's just as easy to make a big batch of something. So a couple months ago, I uh, smoked some meatloafs and uh, they turned out great. We froze, I think I cooked six and we froze four and we're down to our last two. And so I'll probably, uh, do another one of those to keep in the freezer. Not a bad thing to uh, not a bad thing to have, especially on those busy nights when um, you want to just warm something up and not have to start over from scratch. So, anyway, um, try just adding a few things. It, this is the economical way to do this instead of just going out there. I don't recommend you go out and buy a pallet of of pre prepared freeze dried food. I don't I don't think anyone should probably do that. I guess I'll say I don't know that the average person should do that. I mean, if you've got a super large family or you've got a remote facility or something that you're going to be, you know, stocking up and you want to make sure it's got everything. I mean, maybe it's the way to go, but for, for most of us that are, you know, living uh, in a suburb or in a small town or, you know, not, hopefully we're not in the city. Um, but 
if you want to just start to add a few things, I think you should just add a few things that you already cook. Now, one note I'll, I'll say as well, um, in the food video that we did the other day, uh, some people had some uh, criticisms for me and they said that my family was eating junk. And the things that you stockpile are always not the healthiest. And uh, we try to eat really well. And when you're stockpiling food, you end up with a lot of carbohydrates. And we don't typically eat a ton of carbohydrates. Um, we're not like a keto family or anything, but uh, we do you know, try to watch the sugar intake just like most of us probably should, but um, it's hard to, the, the, those types of foods, they don't store as long. And I think that's the main battle that we face nutritionally. Um, if you're wanting to still eat really well um, in a grid down scenario or a power outage scenario, it's possible that you're gonna have to dig a little deeper on some of those items because they store better. And I don't know that there's a way around that. I'm not a nutritionalist. Um, I don't have any nutrition advice for you, but if you have some ideas that are storable foods, please put those in the comments. I would love to explore that. I'm, I'm gonna read every comment. And uh, if we need to jump further into that, if I find something interesting, I would love to bring it up and share it with everyone. Again, I'm, I'm just a tiny little channel here, but um, I think that would be, I think that'd be beneficial because um, we do need to make sure you're eating well, but in a survival situation, um, I think sustenance is sustenance. So anyway, hop over, grab some coffee, uh, keep stockpiling up your, um, your pantry. And uh, if you've got something that needs to be sided in, don't put it off, go side it in, make sure it's good to go before you put it away. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that because uh, we have some quality components in here and I'm hoping this gun shoots pretty accurately. So, all right, Eagle Run 2-3, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.